Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. So the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and many other Galaxy phones are packed with powerful tools that go beyond the basics. So these features combine creativity, personalization, and efficiency in ways most people don't know about. From AI assistant that save you hours of time to customization options that make your device uniquely yours to seasonal effects that make your phone more fun. So there's something here for everyone. So exploring these tools doesn't just make your phone cooler, it makes it smarter and faster and more personal. So let's begin. So the first feature is where you can use Gemini to research on your Samsung Galaxy device. So Gemini is Samsung's built-in AI assistant designed to streamline how you search, research and organize information. So instead of bouncing between apps and tabs, Gemini can instantly summarize articles, compare products, set up reminders, and even pull details from the schedule. So for instance, if you're planning to buy the new iPhone 17 Pro Max, you can go ahead and ask Gemini to find nearby Apple stores and see if they have it in stock. So let's go ahead and open up Gemini. Now in Gemini, I'll go ahead and ask it to find me some information for the iPhone 17 Pro Max and if Apple have it in stock or not. Please find me some information for iPhone 17 Pro Max and see if the Apple store in Birmingham have it in stock. Based on the latest information, here is what you need to know about the iPhone 17 Pro Max. So as you can see, this is giving me all the information for iPhone 17 Pro Max with the release date, pre-order dates, the key features and specifications, and then the stock availability in Birmingham. As you can see, there's currently no stock in the Birmingham Apple Store. So I need to go ahead and look elsewhere. I need to go ahead and pre-order this device through the Apple website. So Gemini saves time, reduces distraction, and makes multitasking seamless. It's especially powerful for students, professionals, and busy users who want quick insights without constant app switching. The second feature is where you can use Drawing Assist to create custom clip arts. So Drawing Assist takes simple sketches and transforms them into polished, AI-enhanced artwork. So whether you doodle a stick figure or a rough pumpkin, Drawing Assist can convert it into a stylish cartoon, watercolor, or a clean illustration. So this opens up the creativity, possibility for wallpapers, icons, stickers, or even personalized content for social media. And let me show you how to get Drawing Assist on your Samsung Galaxy device. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Edge panel, and from here we'll see Drawing Assist. Now, if you don't see Drawing Assist, you can go ahead and tap on Edit, and then tap on Edit again here, three dots. And now here, you wanna go ahead and add the Drawing Assist, which is a Galaxy AI suite. Now, for some reason, if it's disabled, you can go ahead and enable this in Settings, Galaxy AI. Here, find Drawing Assist, and make sure this is turned on. Now, once that's turned on, you wanna go ahead and turn on your Edge panel from here, find Drawing Assist, and now you can go ahead and start doodling. Now, there are three ways where Drawing Assist can help you create clip arts. So you can basically draw something, you can go ahead and show a picture, or you can go ahead and describe that particular word. So here I can go ahead and start off with the drawing first. So let's go ahead and just draw umbrella. And let's just go ahead and choose if you want watercolor, illustration, pop art, sketch, 3D cartoon, oil painting. I'll go ahead and choose illustration. And as you can see, it has drawn us a umbrella. Now let's go ahead and try a photo version. So let's just say, for example, this iPhone here. I'll go ahead and generate a pop art. And there you go, it's created a camera out of the iPhone. Next, you can go ahead and use text to create something out of it. So you can go ahead and describe what you wanna create. So I'll go ahead and create, now next I'm gonna go ahead and choose an illustration and we'll go ahead and tap and generate. So there you go, this is like a car interior with all the stars in it. So now with all these pictures, you can go ahead and copy it, share it or download it, or you can go ahead and use it as a sticker in your own messaging apps like WhatsApp or Samsung Message. All of these will have these labels here, the bottom left saying it was created by AI. So even if you're not an artist, you can create unique, high quality visuals. It saves time compared to external apps and it gives your device or project a personal touch that's generic downloads can't match. 
The third feature is where you can customize your Samsung keyboard with Keys Cafe. So Keys Cafe is a part of Samsung's Good Lock Suite, allows deep personalization of the Samsung keyboard. So you can change the layout, add fun themes, and adjust key colors, and even insert animated effects, just like this one here you see on screen. So it goes beyond just changing the background. It lets you build a keyboard that feels natural to use while reflecting your style. So here today, I'll go ahead and show you how to create similar keyboard like this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down, find Keys Cafe, and you wanna go ahead and turn on this feature, Keys Cafe. So here you can go ahead and do all of these so you can make your own keyboard. So if you have a normal keyboard, you can go ahead and edit this and add different numbers to it. However, today I won't be showing you this. I'll show you how to style your own keyboard. So I'll show you how to apply all these different themes which are available on the Keys Cafe. So if you like jazzing up your keyboard, you can go ahead and use any of these styles here. Go ahead and choose the keyboard and then go ahead and apply this. For those of you who don't like the recommendation, you can go ahead and choose the plus sign here and create your very own keyboard, changing all the colors. For now, I'll go ahead and just use one of the presets. Apply that. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on effects here at the bottom. And here you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on. And here you can go ahead and get all the, the keyboard color effects. So when you tap on the keyboard, the effects you get in the background, you can go ahead and apply this. You can go ahead and apply the key effect. So once the key is pressed, you have a animation on it. Next, you can go ahead and tap on the key motion effect so you can get the different types of animation. Next, you can go ahead and choose sound and you can apply all the different sounds. Now, once you're happy, go back to your Samsung message or your WhatsApp message, go ahead and open your keyboard and then go ahead and test it out. So since the keyboard is one of the most used tools on your phone, customizing it improves both functions and experience. So it makes typing more fun. It can improve visibility with better colors, contrast, and creates a more personal connection with your device. The fourth feature is where you can increase the speed of adaptive brightness change. So adaptive brightness automatically adjusts your screen brightness based on your surrounding light. However, sometimes it lags, staying too bright in the dark or too dim in the sun. So Display Assistant gives you more control over how quickly your screen reacts. So by increasing the adjustment speed, the screen instantly adapts to lighting conditions, making transition more smoother. So let me show you how to change this. So here we'll first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Display Assistant. From here, you wanna go ahead and find Adaptive Brightness Options. So here you want to go ahead and change the adaptive brightness change speed. So here it's currently set to 1x. However, you can go ahead and make it 4x to make it quicker change or 2x slightly less quicker change. So the speed of brightness change depends on the surrounding environment. So say for example, if the environment is really dark, then it'll change. However, if the environment is not very dark, then the change will begin very slowly. So faster brightness adjustment protects your eyes, prevents uncomfortable delays, and can even extend your battery life by avoiding unnecessary high brightness. The fifth feature is where you can create Halloween effect wallpapers on your home screen. So Samsung's wallpaper tools along with the AI customization and good lock, it allows you to design festive seasonal themes like the Halloween wallpaper. So you can add effects such as a raining pumpkin or maybe glowing pumpkin, flickering lanterns and animated objects falling in the background to make your home screen more immersive. So it's a way to bring creativity and seasonal spirit directly into your daily phone experience. So here I wanna go ahead and use this pumpkin and I wanna go ahead and create like a raining pumpkin wallpaper. So let me show you how to do this. So we'll go ahead and use this wallpaper and this pumpkin here. So in order to do this, we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Wonderland module. Here we'll go ahead and create your own moving wallpaper. So first we'll go ahead and choose the plus sign and we'll go ahead and choose that wallpaper. So from the gallery. Now next you wanna go ahead and tap on the plus sign and you wanna go ahead and choose a particle preset. So here you wanna go ahead and choose little snow, snow or heavy snow, we'll go ahead and choose snow. However, we wanna go ahead and change the image. So we wanna go ahead and choose that image from our library, which is that. Now we'll go ahead and choose preview. And as you can see, you have falling pumpkins falling in a snow manner. You can go ahead and choose this and make it as a droplet, as a heart, 
So these are all the different animations which you can choose. You can go ahead and choose the duration, the size, the amount, and many other different settings you can play around with here. Go ahead and tap on preview and you'll see those on your home screen. So now once you're happy with that, go ahead and tap on save. Now go ahead and give this a name. Now go ahead and tap on set as a wallpaper. And since we just want this for our home screen, so we'll go ahead and choose home screen. And then we'll go ahead and tap on home. So now as you can see, when we look at our home screen, we have falling pumpkins in our background. So this is like a seasonal wallpaper which keeps your phone feeling new and festive. So it's a simple way to express personality and create a fun eye-catching home screen on your Samsung Galaxy device. The sixth feature is where you can create Halloween message animation notification on your Samsung Galaxy device. So beyond wallpapers, you can also customize your notification with festive animations. So imagine a ghost falling down when a text message arrives or maybe a pumpkin popping from the bottom of the screen. So these effects can be set through themes, notification customization, or the good lock module. So here today we'll be going ahead and setting it through the good lock module. So to do this, we'll go ahead and first download our ghost clip, which is right here. I've downloaded this from the internet. Next, we'll go ahead and use the good lock app. Here we'll go ahead and scroll down and find edge lighting plus. Now turn this feature on and then go ahead and tap on set custom style. You wanna go ahead and turn this feature on, tap on it. Here you wanna go ahead and tap on the plus sign. You wanna go ahead and tap on gallery and we wanna go ahead and choose that ghost image from our gallery. So as you can see, we've already getting a, a feel of how this would look like. Now next you wanna go ahead and tap on color. You wanna leave that as it is, tap on advanced. And here you wanna go ahead and choose all your effects. So you can have a snow falling effect, a rain effect, a cloud effect, a star effect, bubbles, a heart effect, or something coming from the bottom. So let's go ahead and choose something coming from the bottom like this. Now next you wanna go ahead and choose the size. So let's go ahead and choose small size. Then we'll go ahead and choose the period. So we want it for a long time or a short time. Now we wanna go ahead and choose how many you want, one many, and then the rotation, if you wanna give any rotation to it. So we'll just go ahead and do on strong. So now once you're happy, tap done. And now when you get a notification on your Samsung Galaxy device, you'll see something similar to this. So animated notifications are more noticeable, making sure you don't miss important alerts. They also add a playfulness and creativity to everyday phone use, especially during holidays or special events. And lastly, the seventh feature is where you can use Galaxy AI to read highlights off a website. So Galaxy AI can scan and summarize web pages, pulling out the most important points for you. So instead of reading through the long articles, you can simply ask AI to deliver the highlights, either as a text or read it aloud. So this is especially handy for news, research, or when you're multitasking. So here's an example, we'll go ahead and open up Samsung Internet Browser. Here I've searched for cataract eye surgery. Now I want to go ahead and find out more about this. So I'll go ahead and scroll down and find a website where it gives us genuine information. So the NHS UK will give me genuine information on this. So I'll tap on this. Now this is giving me a long website where I have to read this and I can't be bothered as I'm doing something else as well during this time. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and tap on Galaxy AI here and I'll tap on read highlights aloud. This will now find all the key highlights and we'll start to read the key highlights in this website. So if I go ahead and increase the volume, in children. The surgery involves removing the cloudy lens and replacing it with a clear plastic lens. I can go ahead and increase the speed of the speech. Go ahead and go back to a few information back if I missed it. Go ahead and pause it and play it. Go ahead and fast forward a bit. And I can go ahead and translate it to any other language I like. So website summary saves time, helps with accessibility, and lets you observe information hands-free. So this is perfect when cooking, walking, or commuting. It's a smarter way to stay informed without drowning in information overload. So Samsung Galaxy devices aren't just smartphones, they're productivity tools, creativity canvases, and personal companions. So by unlocking these features, Gemini, Drawing Assist, Keys Cafe, Display Assistance, and Seasonal Wallpapers and Notifications, and Galaxy AI Reading Tools, you can make your phone truly work for you. If you enjoyed discovering these hidden features, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Share your favorite trick in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear which one you'll be trying first. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.